Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about knowledge. And I want to give you a quote. He is the teacher. I am the learner. In John chapter 16 verse 13, Jesus is telling His disciples, I'm ready to go back to the Father. But, and, and they all began to panic. They were crying and what are we going to do? Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless, but when I get to the Father, I'm going to send you another comforter and He will walk beside you. He will walk along with you in life. But then He says in John 16, 13, this comforter will lead you and will teach you and will guide you into all truth. So today, God is wanting by the Holy Spirit to take us from where we are with what limited knowledge we possess to where He is in a spirit realm knowing what He knows. See, God is not just wanting to sit up in heaven this great big ball of knowledge and say how much He knows and how little we know. He's wanting to take how little we know and fill it with what He knows so that then we become more and more like Him. In Romans chapter 1 verse 16 Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the, it is the salvation to the Jews and to the Greeks as well for in it, in the gospel, is the righteousness of God revealed. So, the knowledge of getting to know God and His righteousness is not going to come by just sitting and studying scriptures. It's not going to come by gazing at the stars. The knowledge of God's righteousness is going to come through the gospel, the good news of Christ. Once we get into the good news of Christ, then we can look back into the Old Testament and we understand the revelation of God's righteousness. Let me give you an example. In, in Genesis chapter 3 verse 21, after Adam and Eve have sinned, God took a little animal and killed it and took the skin from that animal and made covering for Adam and Eve. Now, at first you think, well, of course they were naked, they needed to be clothed. But when you get to know Jesus, then you go back and read that and you see what substitution means. And you see what covering means. You see what the shedding of blood means. We, the Gospel talks about all that, but we see it in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis 3, 21. So, God today wants to open to you His head of knowledge, if you'll let me say that. God wants to give you what He knows, so that your day will be more and more complete as you walk in Him. Well, thank you for being with us for these couple of moments, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, God bless you.